So what are the causes of hyperthyroidism? If you've heard from your doctor that hyperthyroidism can't be treated and you have to absolutely remove your thyroid, this is wrong in most of the cases, okay? So I would like to give you most common causes and how you can of course fix it in order to get rid of this disease and also symptoms associated with hyperthyroidism. The first one, the first cause is Graves' disease. Graves' disease is that, you know, autoimmune component of hyperthyroidism. And Graves' disease is usually caused by triad, which is unhealthy leaky gut, which is caused by, you know, SIBO, candida, or other gut imbalance. Second one is genetics. You shouldn't really worry about it. it you can't really change it, but it's like really small, small percentage. And the first one is unhealthy dieting. So if you've been eating, you know, dairy, sugar, gluten for a long time, and maybe you've also developed insulin resistance, this can also cause, you know, Graves' disease and eventually hyperthyroidism. So so this is cause number one and you can absolutely work on this component to fix it and decrease this autoimmunity okay which is caused by graves second one is of course too much estrogen and too little progesterone so this usually causes estrogen dominance this estrogen dominance affects your liver affects also you know metabolization of cholesterol and other toxins inside your body so you don't you know get rid of this toxic waste as uh, well as you should and this can you know trigger also this autoimmune reaction and that's why you are developing hyperthyroidism okay so this is cause number two and the way to work on this is to take the right herbs and the right supplements to optimize this estrogen to progesterone ratio so you can get better. The third one is of course iodine supplementation or too much iodine inside your body. So I never recommend taking iodine on your own because iodine supplementation can be dangerous and uh, of course it can also help you because you know iodine deficiency can also trigger autoimmunity but too much iodine can also cause you know hyperthyroidism and so remember that always when you are taking iodine use help of you know a natural functional doctor preferably who will tell you which dose and how much you should be taking of iodine okay this should really help you to fix your symptoms without you know risking development of this hyperthyroidism so this is third most common cause. Another one is taking too much medication, hyperthyroid medication. Believe me or not, this is pretty common. Usually people who are, you know, hypothyroid, they take too much medication for like longer time. And this can also, you know, lead to development of hyperthyroidism. So always make sure to consult your medication dose, preferably with two doctors. In this way, you are making sure that you are on the right medication and you are taking the right dose of medication, okay? So another cause, fifth cause is hot thyroid nodules hot thyroid nodules they produce excess of thyroid hormones uh, excess thyroid hormones means you know hyperthyroidism and usually this is uh, caused by inflammation autoimmunity and high estrogen so all of the you know previous things kind of let kind of lead to this uh, hot thyroid nodules development Usually they are non-cancerous, so you shouldn't be really worrying about them. But in many cases, it's kind of difficult to treat them naturally unless you really commit to diet and you really commit to supplementation and everything. So in some cases, you may benefit from, you know, cutting out these thyroid uh, hot nodules. And in this way, your symptoms and your hyperthyroidism should improve. And the last one, sixth cause, is, as I was saying, some other trigger which can trigger not only graves but also hyperthyroidism like for example some viruses like EBV virus or for example H. pylori bacteria okay those are the things that can be an underlying trigger then in turn for example produce low stomach acid this low stomach acid you know makes inflammation in your body this inflammation affects your gut and gut causes this you know autoimmune reaction so it's all linked with each other you have to really find the trigger the underlying cause of hyperthyroidism but as I was saying those are pretty much the most common triggers the way Way to fix it is of course to work you know 360 degrees so the first thing you want to do you want to really follow a healthy diet if you don't know which diet you should be following make sure to check our blog thyroidboss.com you will find there the best diet for hyperthyroidism another thing is supplementation so if you don't take any supplements make sure to check h-boss.com that's our shop and you will find there you know great supplements for thyroid disease in, and in this way, you're making sure that you don't, you know, miss any nutritional deficiencies. But when it comes to other things like iodine, estrogen, progesterone and medications, 
and also of course trigger. I also recommend to a consultation with a good, you know, functional doctor to really assess and speed up this, you know, finding searching process and really uh, finding the root underlying cause of your hyperthyroidism. So that's everything in today's video, guys. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below and I will see you in the next video.